Good morning, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you this Fleetwood home. This is the Summit. It's a four bedroom, two bath, 2001 square feet home. So let's get into the video. Can't wait to show you this beautiful home. The way it's positioned, I can't get around to the outside. So let's go right on in. I wanted to, I can't get around to the back side. So just wanted to show you the front of the home. Let's go in and see what we got. All right, this is the view when you enter the home. They are, a lot of these homes out here at St. Clara Coney and Milledgeville are, have just been put up. They're moving houses really fast, you guys. So excuse all the siding and everything laying around. This is what you see when you come to view homes. So this is your living room area. So you have this big space here for your living room. You got two large windows. Uh-oh. You got two large windows in here bringing a lot of natural light. I do like the fact that when you enter, you have this short wall here. Of course, it'll have the wallpaper, the wall and everything up when you receive it. But this could be your entry, okay? So can you see a table or a bench or uh, maybe even a single chair and side table there when you enter in your entryway? Really nice. So spinning around again all of this is your living room area and it's open to the kitchen so when you're in your living room you can actually see your kitchen and dining room from here on over into the dining room this area to the right of the kitchen would be your dining room area. You've got space for a nice size table. Not really sure if the camera's doing it any justice, but you do have a lot of space here. For a nice size dining room table, you can make this like a breakfast nook, or you can make it a little more formal. It's really up to what your preference is. Uh, it's right next to the kitchen here. You have this large, island which is always a plus love the stainless steel appliances that they have in here super cute pendant lighting but you have all of this counter space in here to make this kitchen your own we'll go ahead and open a cabinet so you can see you've got full cabinets in here Love it. Uh-oh. We got caught over here. There you go. All right, you got full cabinets in here. You've got this large picture window. Uh, both sides open up so you can bring in the cool breeze when it's cool outside. Lots of plugs for your appliances all around the kitchen. And I love this industrial light hutch. Very nice. So that is your kitchen. You do have open shelving as well as cabinets and drawers in your island. And you've got one of the biggest pantries I've seen in these homes since I've been touring them. So I'm going to give you a, a look. It's kind of dark in here. But this is your pantry. It has a transom window really nice but all of that you guys is pantry i would even bring the shelving on this side just to maximize the space you've got can lighting in here so lots of light in your pantry area and you can close this door off as you wish if it's a mess in here very nice so that is your pantry right off the kitchen really lovely give you one spin around and then we'll go take a look at the rest of the house now from the living room and kitchen to the right of the front door would be your additional rooms 
and to the left would be your main room. So let's go down this long hallway. You've got this long hallway here that leads to the additional rooms and your bonus room. First room on the left is your utility room. Lots of space. You could put a rather large washer and dryer in this area. All of this is the space for your washer and dryer. I would probably, this is what I imagine. So your washer goes here, your dryer goes over here. You also have space maybe for, uh, I don't know, a small deep freezer if you choose. You've got the plug here and a plug here. So you've got space for more than just your washer and dryer. I see a counter going across the top if it's a front loader. I see a counter going across the top of it. So, or making a space between because uh, you got a plug all the way over here. So you could put a, a counter space or a island of some sort in between the washer and dryer for your folding area. So that's one thought. Then across from it, you have this nook over here that also has an outlet there. So you could put a tall, deep freezer over on this side. You can put a snick, stack a little, sneak a little desk in there and make it a craft area. You can just do what you want in this room. This is a large utility room. So very nice. Awesome. Okay, across the hall from the utility room is your additional bedroom number one the bedrooms are carpeted you guys so i'll just come in and spin around you've got a regular closet there and this is your first additional bedroom okay all right so that's bedroom number one I'm let you take another look Next to bedroom number one, you've got a little larger bedroom over here. We'll come in and spin around. And then your closet is over there. Again, that wall will be closed in. Don't worry about that. This is a walk-in closet versus the first bedroom that just has the regular closet, okay? All right, so that's bedroom number two, bedroom number one next to it. Now, across the hall from bedroom number two is your additional bathroom. Remember, that's the laundry room. Next to the laundry room is your additional bath. So you've got this bath here. We won't go in because it's not there are no lights on in this house. You got your sink and mirror there. Plenty of space for whoever's using the room. And then at the end of the hallway, you have this bonus room. Now you can do what you want. This could be a playroom, craft room, man cave, den, family room, whatever you choose to label it. But it's it's got a lot of great space in here. I can see a sectional in here. I can see a TV on the wall. I can see turning this into a theater type area. I can see arcade games in here. Like there's so much potential for a room this size. Very nice. And then your last additional bedroom is off of this room. Looks to be probably the same size as the one next to it. But all of this and another walk-in closet is your additional bed room number three. So again, this is a four bedroom, you guys. Four bedroom, two bath, and you've got your living room and you've got a bonus room. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna go back down this hallway and I'll spin around again and remind you where the rooms are. So you've got down this hall, you've got utility room and bathroom on this side. You've got three bedrooms on the right side and your bonus room to the end. All right. Now we'll go over to 
your main bedroom or master or whatever you call it. This is the main bedroom. Nice size bedroom. You can put a little sitting area in this room. Really nice. So all of this is your main bedroom. Two large windows, lots of natural light. Love it. All right, so your master closet is separate from the master bath. So we'll look at that first. Got your master closet here. Lots of space. It's missing shelving. I would have shelving on this wall and on this wall. Really nice. So all of that is master closet. And then next to the master closet is your master bath. You've got a lot of counter space in here. You've got two cabinets per sink and, sh and uh, shelving in the middle. Really nice. You've got your garden tub there. Lots of rooms for, for candles and decor. Just give it a spa feel. You might even consider put shelving on the wall. You've got a large transom window in here. Really nice. Your toilet is against this wall and behind the door is your master shower with two seating areas. Really lovely. Again, you guys, this is the Summit. It's a four bedroom, two bath with a bonus room. This home is made by Fleetwood Homes. It's 2,001 square feet of space, so lots of room. And it's out here at Sinclair Oconee in Milledgeville, Georgia. So if you're interested in pricing, specifications, or how to see this home, give them a call. All of their information will be in the description. Thank you.